Um, okay, so in your own time. The first ad I wish I'd ever made was Whopper Freak Out. <laughs> They got on board Henry Alex Rubin, this Academy Award winning documentary filmmaker, had a whole bunch of hidden cameras and they proposed a really simple question, what would happen uh, if you deprived people of a thing that they love? I love the Whopper. That's what Burger King is, home of the Whopper. I don't think anyone really knew where this was going to go. Burger King is a Whopper free zone. From what I understand, they were too popular. I don't think anyone was really expecting the, the drama that unfolded. People lost their minds. Would you like Over to see, is see my man. boss? Yes. Get the boss. Okay. There's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> The second ad I wish I'd made was Google's Parisian love story. And this was this really compelling and heartfelt story about an exchange student who falls in love while studying abroad in Paris. And the entire thing is told through a series of Google searches. It was really quite remarkable and it was, I think, for me, powerful because it said everything while saying absolutely nothing at all. You had to sort of piece together this love story. Completely reframed people's perception of Google. They managed to somehow humanise this really cold, soulless piece of utility and make it about something so much more. The third ad that comes to mind is for Carling Beer in the UK. Do you seek the truth? Follows a group of five guys um, set in space aboard a spaceship and they're about to uh, be admitted into a Stargate to, to find out the answers to life. And they're about to step forward when... I thought they were quite smart. And all of a sudden we're sort of brought back uh, to this moment of reality. You know, it's a Saturday night out on the street, only it's sort of set in space. Um, and there's this ultimate act of um, mateship towards the end where, you know, the guys, instead of seeking the truth, they turn around and um, find somewhere down, you know, down the road. But we're not in that, are we? We're not leaving it. Uh, actually, mate, I think we're probably going to try somewhere else instead. <laughs> Cheers, boys. It's rubbish anyway. Hopefully, something that, like, you know, my mates would also do um, in that moment. Australians would have been too polite. We would have just yes. gone. Really? Oh, well, well, I suppose I'll get a cheeseburger then, you know. <laughs>